Hey there, my name is Gabriel Ives and I'm from the Amtrail Technical Service Department. Welcome to another Tech Take. Today we're going to be talking about the Guardian DC-2 and the errors associated with that unit. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's start with the E1 error. That's a rapid cycle alert. That means that the pump has been running too many times in a given amount of time. Also means that the pump cycle times are dangerously low. So what could cause this? There are two things. It could be the pressure range of the Guardian or it could be the tank. So let's start with the pressure range. Uh, a regular pressure range in a well system or in an RP unit would be about 20 PSI. If you are significantly below that 20 PSI pressure range, that may be causing the E1. So we would suggest boosting that back up to the 20 PSI and your problem should go away. If it's the tank, then we're expecting the tank to be waterlogged. That means that the water from the water side of the tank has entered into the air side of the tank. One way to easily tell this is to remove the cap off of the air stem on the tank, depressing the Schrader valve, and if any water exits through that tank, through the Schrader valve, that means that the tank has been waterlogged and would need to be replaced. So let's go ahead and move on to the E2. The E2 is a low water cutoff. That means for a period of 10 seconds or more, uh, there was 10 PSI coming into the unit. Now, that's insufficient for the Guardian, uh, and in those cases, the Guardian would turn off the pump uh, and wait 60 minutes before turning back on to see if that pressure has jumped back up. What could cause this? This could be due to water being shut off from your, from your municipality or your city, or it could mean that on a well system, your well has gone dry. So those are things you'd want to look into. So the next one's going to be an E3. E3 is an improper voltage error. That means for a certain period of time, the incoming voltage from your line is either above or below the expected voltage. So if you're running 120 and it drops down to let's say 100, or if it's jumping up to 130 or more, then you may see this error. Same thing with if you're running 240. So in this case, what we would suggest is uh, checking your electrical system. And if that voltage does jump back up or, jump or drop back down to the expected voltage, the pump will turn back on. All right, so last one we're gonna talk about is gonna be the E4, and that's an electrical disturbance error. So this one's a little bit different. What we would suggest is unplugging the Guardian or turning off the power to the Guardian for a period of one minute and uh, then plugging it back in and seeing if that error goes away. If the error does not go away and it persists, we suggest calling the helpline, which you can see right up here, uh, or looking at our website and uh, sending us an email uh, but hopefully uh, any of these uh, troubleshooting uh, steps helped you. And if you do have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much for watching.